When Chrono Odyssey was first announced, I covered it in quite extensive detail. I've done several videos on it over the course of the last couple years because it is a game that genuinely looks really good to me. After they released their first trailer, they went radio silent for a very long time. They released a second follow-up trailer, I think over a year of silence later, went completely silent again. And then here we are with another new trailer, supposedly detailing actual real gameplay. We have a confirmed global release. We have a confirmed global publisher because yes, NPixel is actually not publishing the game themselves. Rather, they have someone else in charge of publishing and that is I think very concerning for the game's future because this publisher has a really, really bad history with not only pay to win, but also failed games. And by failed games, I mean they do not have a single successful MMO. Most of their MMOs are actually shut down. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, there are two trailers, the official trailer and the Unreal Engine 5 gameplay tech demo. We're gonna take a look at the official trailer first. Oh, I get, I don't know. I kind of get like weird Warframe vibes from this. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way. Their ca the character faces look very like unshaded and undetailed. I don't know. I, I expected them to look better. Oh, also spoiler alert for the publisher. Yeah, we found the publisher. And no, the publisher is not Amazon Game Studio. So that means we don't have to worry about them messing anything up in terms of changing anything to fit their weird agenda. This all looks very cool though, like, it has a very western feel and aesthetic to it, I think. It's pretty cool. You don't really see- oh my god. You don't really see Korean MMOs that look and feel like a Western game. They tend to gravitate towards making really Korean looking and feeling games, and that makes sense. They're supposed to appeal to a Korean audience after all. Yeah, I'm getting some serious Warframe vibes from this. All right, that looked kind of cool. Now, before we go ahead and take a look at the second trailer, I wanna take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon who allow for us to continue to do dedicated videos like this every single week. You guys are phenomenal and I cannot thank you all enough for your support. Now we're gonna get a full look the, for the very first time at real gameplay. What is this? Okay, it's a guy talking. Today, we're excited to share the progress 성장, 제작을 게이머 분들께서 즐길 수 있도록 노력하십시오. 120 top tier developers in adventure. Yeah, I want to see actual gameplay. Okay, here we go. We're getting to the gameplay. But I don't see a UI. Giving players a unique battle experience. Players can travel through space and go to designated time zones to gain advantage during thrilling battles. Data layer 기능을 사용하여 로딩 없이 실시간으로 변하는 과거 We've used data layers to create real-time environments and layer them on top of one another to enable players to travel through past, present, and future, Ceter future states of the Cetera landscape seamlessly. Players can gain additional resources through traveling I mean, that looks very cool, yeah. against stronger enemies in the future. In this instance, we're traveling from the present to the future. It's a very fascinating concept. concept. Create a massive open world exceeding 12 square kilometers with about a half million actors and then stream it smoothly to enhance the cinematic look and feel of the environment, all while allowing for multiplayer adventures. No, that does look very cool. And customizing finally, customization. Okay, here we go. Flexible customization system. Nice. Players wow. Players freely express their personality. Wow. Their okay. Ensuring that each, wow. each character you meet in Satera is as unique as your own. That, okay, yeah, I know. That is very cool. That was it. The only gameplay we got was this. 
All classes can manipulate space and time, giving players a unique battle experience. Players That's it. Travel That's all the gameplay we got. Literally eight seconds of gameplay. Two abilities with absolutely no UI. I don't know. That is very disappointing for me to see and to hear. Given one of the core issues that a lot of us had is that we didn't have any real gameplay to base our opinions on off of. Let's go ahead and read this article over on Komatsu. Chrono Odyssey to be published by Kakao Games. Yes, Kakao Games. The people that made Black Desert Online pay to win and then they lost the publishing and distribution rights back to Pearl Abyss. This is Kakao Games that ruined Arc Age by taking the free-to-play version and the buy-to-play version and making it exclusively pay-to-play with a recurring monthly subscription, these are the same people that have been promising we're going to be getting Odin Valhalla Rising, the open world MMO that looks and feels like Black Desert Online for the last two years. Two years the game has been in a state of global localization. This is the same studio that fucked up Elyon, which was originally known as the Set Infinite Realm. Elyon, of course, shut down in less than a year. This studio has a horrible track record with MMOs, but at the very least, they're not Amazon. So, the, you know, there is a positive and a negative here. I'm not sure which outweighs the other. Kakao Games will publish the open world action MMORPG Chrono Odyssey from South Korean studio NPixel and subsidiary Chrono Studio, the company's announced. They'll be available for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and PC via Steam, which means you don't have to worry about any mobile cross-platform functionality. Chrono Odyssey will be buy to play Okay, so they've confirmed it's going to be buy to play, not free to play. A lot of people had the expectation that it was actually going to be a free to play game. But no, you're going to have to actually purchase a game like Black Desert Online, like the Elder Scrolls Online, like the Guild Wars 2 expansions. It doesn't look like it's going to have a monthly recurring fee though. This is going to be focused on delivering a AAA online gameplay experience for PC and console gamers alike. Set in a vast and immersive fantasy world, Chrono Odyssey offers players a unique journey through time and space, filled with epic quests, dynamic combat, and intricate storytelling. With stunning visuals powered by Epic Games' Unreal Engine 5, robust character customization, engaging gameplay mechanics which allow players to manipulate space and time, Chrono Odyssey aims to redefine the MMORPG. Can we stop saying shit like this? This game is not going to redefine the MMORPG genre. This is a grindy, open-world Korean action MMO. At the end of the day, this might be a very good game, but there is a 0% chance it is going to redefine anything. Provide players with an unforgettable adventures for it. The, yeah, there it is going to be unforgettable, all right. We also remember Elyon. The collaboration between Kakao Games and Chrono Studio represents a strategic alliance aimed at bringing Chrono Odyssey to a global audience and also making it horrendously pay to win, which Kakao is known for. As a publisher of choice for Chrono Studio's ambitious MMORPG, that's because Amazon Studios wasn't available and they're still trying to get out Throne and Liberty and Blue Protocol at some point this year. Kakao Games will provide comprehensive support and localization. The local Localization from Kakao has never been great. Marketing, which they have never been good at. I don't recall them really advertising Elyon anywhere. <laughs> Community engagement to ensure the success, the success under Kakao. That is, that is a stretch. Is asking a lot of Chrono Odyssey in international markets with Kakao Games' extensive network and expertise in global publishing. Their expertise is speed running the end of service of the MMO. Players can look forward to experiencing Chrono Odyssey's massive world and engaging action RPG gameplay on a global scale. Now, I'm not saying this game will be bad. Please don't misconstrue what I'm saying. The game could be phenomenal. I'm saying it's concerning that Kakao specifically, a studio known to fuck up every game they publish and to riddle it with pay to win, is going to be in charge of publishing it. It's the same as Amazon, you know? Throne and Liberty and Blue Protocol could be phenomenal games, but with Amazon publishing it, you know it's, it's not going to be that great. Now, I am excited for Chrono Odyssey. I always have been. But at the same time, I am going into this with a degree of trepidation because under Kakao, I don't expect it to be too large of a success, which is disappointing given I've been waiting years for this. I feel like every new MMO that gets announced, they get excited for. 
and then the publisher gets announced and I'm like, dude, God damn it. Why them? <laughs> uh, anyway, you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think because I'm genuinely curious if you think this is gonna be a success under Kakao or a failure. Now, if this is not a game you're all interested in though, absolutely no problem. I got you covered for two different videos on screen right now that might be more up your alley.